this is the eye look that I ended up with for the day. So if you would like to see how I got this look using my MAC eyeshadows, just keep watching. As usual, I'm just going to start off with my Maybelline Color Tattoo. This one is in the shade Shady Shores. That is all that I have left, but I mean, really any base is going to work. I use the color tattoos as sort of a primer and a kind of color base all in one. I don't find that these crease on me. I don't have to put anything down before I put these down. Sometimes I'll have a little bit of concealer or foundation that got over my lid a little bit, but I don't put down a separate primer. I always bring just a little bit underneath as well in case I want to have some shadow up underneath there. I kind of want a lighter, kind of a neutral eye look today, so I'm going to start off with this shade right here. This is Rice Paper from MAC, and I'm just using an up and up brush from Target. I think these are under $3. I think you can still find them. I'm just going to put this all over my entire lid. Sometimes when you put a color tattoo down um, right before you put shadow down, it's a good idea just to run your finger over it to make sure that there's no creasing. And just run this over the lid. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of it and run it underneath just in the front part of my bottom lash line. Sometimes if I can't get a nice application with a brush, I'll just use my ring finger and run it in there so I have a little bit on my finger and then run it under my eye that way. Sometimes I feel like it applies just a little bit better underneath the eye like that. And I'm gonna bring it in just to the inner portion as well with my finger. I'm going to take Patina. This is what the shade looks like. It looks a little darker in the pan than it is on the eye, so that's it right there, but it does have a sheen to it, as you can see, hopefully right there. Um, I'm just gonna take this lightly into the crease, kind of like a transition shade for the darker colors. I'm using a MAC 217 for this. Just getting a little bit on the tip of it. And then I kind of put my um, brush down and then I point my brush downwards. So I'm kind of lightly brushing this all over. I find it's easier to hold my brushes towards the ends of them. I've just recently started doing that and I think that that makes it a little bit easier to control. I'm just going to build this for a bit until I like the intensity that it is. I'm taking Coquette from MAC and I'm just getting a little bit on the tip of it. I'm going to be putting this into kind of the crease area. So just for reference, um, let me give you a swatch of this one. So there is, let's see, this is rice paper right there, the light yellow, this is patina, and then this is coquette. I'm going to be angling my brush downwards. And I'm gonna kind of try and concentrate in the outer section. I'm gonna get a little crazy. I'm gonna go for MAC Club. This is a very interesting eyeshadow. It kind of has a duochrome where you can see green when it hit the, hits the light at a certain angle, and then it's almost like a, like a reddish brown when it hits the light at a different angle. So here on my hand, this is Club. And I don't think that you're going to be able to pick up the green, maybe you can, right there. 
look slightly green. It looks more green on my finger in a swatch. So definitely using the shade wet. You can see, you can pick up more of the green, but I'm going to be blending it out on my eye, so it's probably gonna look a little bit more red. Um, I'm gonna take the same MAC 217 brush. I'm gonna get a very small amount on the tip of the brush, and I'm just going to place that right in the crease area, the outer crease. Now, for this one, I'm kind of going to angle my brush up slightly just to deposit the shade down where I want it. And then I'll go back in and angle downwards to blend it out. And then I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk super huge fluffy big fluffy brush. You can pick any kind of a large blending brush. It's just a very soft brush that is capable of blending out a larger area. And I'm going over this whole crease area just to kind of smooth everything out. Now I'm going to take this green shade right here. This is called Sumptuous Olive. This is one of my favorite green eyeshadows. That's it right there. It's definitely, um, it doesn't tell me what the finish is, but it's definitely kind of a metallic-y, shade-shifting kind of a color. It's kind of got like a yellowy-brown duochrome with green in this one as well. You're probably only going to pick up the green though. So that's it right there. And then depending on how the light hits it, it looks like a different shade. I'm going to put this underneath my bottom lash line. I'm just going to flip this brush over and use the flat shader part and just get a little bit on the tip of that. I just kind of close my eye and then run that along the bottom my under my lash line. So under the lash line and then just right up in that crease area. And then blend it into my crease. I'm taking this Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil. This is in the shade 04, which is, I believe, continuous almond. I'm going to put my finger right here and then kind of gently just put some pressure and it'll expose your waterline. I'm going to run this right along, I don't know, two thirds, the inner two thirds of my waterline. This is the Revlon Grow Luscious liner. This is in the shade Onyx. I'm just going to kind of um, go over that last third of my waterline and also tight line my last third of it. So I kind of just set it right where I need it and run it along. If you blink it kind of gets down on the bottom line. I find that doing it while your eyes are closed is a little bit easier than trying to you know, hold your eyes open while you're trying to poke something into them. I am, obviously, going to line my upper lash line into a little baby teeny mini wing. Here, I'm going to be using the Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner.
want it to look somewhat like that. And then hopefully your points on the end are even. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using just my Sephora eyelash curlers. I'm going to put the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on this guy right here just to finish up the look and tie it all together. I am adding MAC's Pro Longwear Lipstick in the shade Dress It Up. I think when you have a neutral or a green eye look, I think it complements it really well when you have a lighter or a brighter pink shade, so that's why I chose this one. And... Let me show you the color palette all together, even though you can obviously see my eyes. There's rice paper, patina, coquette, um, club, and sumptuous olive all together there, and all on the eye. Oh, looks like I got a little mascara there. I'll clean that up, but that is essentially what the eye look looks like. Let me show you kind of what I'm wearing and why I wanted to pick these certain colors together. So I'm wearing like this kind of muted mustard yellow top and then I have a brown belt that I put kind of higher up. I'm also wearing some really dark blue jeans. They're skinny jeans and then I have my brown kind of uh, taller boots up. So I kind of wanted a muted palette to go with my outfit. So I thought it was quite fall appropriate. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on another kind of get ready with me eye look. I do have some MAC shadows here in this quad. I have some that I have not yet depotted, like I mentioned in my weekly makeup basket. There's kind of these shades. I don't know if you guys want something brighter or not. And then I have, I think, three more. So if you see anything that strikes your fancy, let me know. <laughs> but that's all I have for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.